Hey guys, Buck for the Nanny here, coming to you with another Small Soldiers figure review. This time we're looking at the 1998 Hasbro Major Chip Hazard action figure. And as you can tell, he's already put on wood one of the accessories, which actually gets latched onto his left arm. It's not exactly movie accurate, but, you know, it, it just comes like that. Uh, it's a very cool little nifty gun, too. It's nicely detailed. Let me see if I can focus on that bad boy. It's very nicely detailed, too. And it comes with, uh, I think, like, two of these, but I only have one. I don't know where the other one is. And some paint chip right there on the major chip. So, okay, according to the little gimmicky thing, you know, it attaches to his left arm right here, and it just, you just cock it, and psh, a little gun, it'll pull the trigger. You know what I mean? It's really tough to put it on them, too, because it just kind of unlatches itself, and then, uh, whatnot, but very easy to take out. You just do this. Although, I think it's easier to just pull it like that and pull it out from that way. Yeah, it's not cooperating with me today. Come on, chip. That's a good chip off the old block. Uh, Alright, so now the gun's out. Put that accessory aside. It also comes with another little accessory. It's this very cool little metallic gun thing. Uh, also, not sure if it's movie accurate or not. It's pretty big for his hand. But I do know they made their own little weapon accessories in the movie. And that just, you know clips onto his hand like that. Not exactly stable fit, but you know, it looks pretty cool. If I do say so myself. So yeah, without the accessories right here, let's take a look at the figure. Now I don't know if this is accurate to the movie of how he looked, but he's got like a, we're supposed to have blue eyes, first of all. And his facial expression is kind of like, uh, he's more mad or upset, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's pretty accurate. There's a paint chipper there going in the hair. Or uh, his hair lines are sighting. Overall, it's a nice, it's a nice figure. It's a nice uh, paint sculpt. You can see right here the jacket. He has the two little grenades on the chest. He has a little remote control walkie-talkie thing. And then, oh, they didn't paint on the little little skull symbol. This is where, you know, you press the button and you activate him. Exactly. See, just like this sign. This is supposed to be on his little belt buckle thing. But I guess they didn't add it. But it's very nicely detailed right here on the right arm. I like the shades of green and the black and the spots on his jacket. Very nice. It's got some nice sculpting and texture on this bad boy. Even on the, even on the legs, it's very nicely. I really do wish they gave these guys articulation, because they would they would have made such nice figures, if they had. Look at the pouch right there in his leg. The shoes are nice and shiny. Very cool. Yeah, if they would have just added articulation to these guys, it would have made much nicer figures. But I guess, like I said in my other video, like. Probably didn't have the technology or the money at least to add any articulation to these figures. But then again, this is Hasbro, so what do you expect from them? Overall, very cool figure. Stands uh, stands on his own like that. You just gotta pose it correctly. Then again, you can either have him holding this latched onto his left arm, or you know, with the little gun. Either way, it's very cool. It's a very cool figure, very nice accessories that come along with it as well. I'm not complaining. I like it a lot. Um, here's some size comparisons again. I'm gonna use the same figures. Uh, he stands up actually, actually the same height as the Archer figure. In case you guys were wondering, same height. So that's very cool. And then of course over here we're gonna add Dutch. And we're gonna add Zod. Very cool. You can see he's actually shorter and more muscular than Dutch. But the paint scheme is pretty nice I mean, compared to them. Like, you know, they're both soldiers, army men. Very cool. And Zot's just like, yeah, kneel before me. 
So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it, guys, and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Uh, make sure you keep tuned in for more figure reviews I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull some nostalgia on you guys and pull out some of my old figures from my from my old toy box and see what happens. So yeah, this has been Major Chip Hazard signing out. Thanks for watching, guys.